Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to constrain the list of filter values using the parameter binding functionality. Now in this example I'm doing some analysis for my top 10 products. Uh, I've got a couple of more tile visualizations on the canvas and a dashboard filter that exposes city as uh, my filter control. You can see that city has uh, 133 values. My goal here is to constrain the list of values for the city filter control and expose a minimal set of city values for my end user analysis. Let's see how we can get this done uh, using parameters and binding the parameter to this uh, city filter control. Now to do this uh, exercise, I've created a parameter called city. Let's open up the parameter. You can see that uh, it's of text data type and uh, you know I've turned off multi-select which means that it's a single select parameter and then the possible values uh, hold about nine or ten different city values now what i want to do is i'll remove the city column from the dashboard filter control and uh, i'm going to add city to the top filter bar and let's bind the parameter that we just created okay now we have bound the parameter to the city filter and the last step is to bring in the parameter as a filter control to the dashboard filter bar. When you select a value from the city parameter, which is now essentially acting as a filter control for the canvas, that value then gets passed on to the respective visualization. Right now, the parameter is actually applying uh, or passing the values as a filter to the visualizations on the canvas. And the end user is only constrained to the list of values that we just created uh, using the parameter and binding that parameter to the city filter on the top workbook filter bar now as a last step what i want to do is i don't want to show the uh, the city filter to my end users so i'm going to go to present and uh, i'll create a, a presentation flow by dragging the canvas into uh, the presentation navigator the thumbnail should be generated in a second and once it's generated i'm going to go to the workbook properties and turn off the show filter bar property for the workbook uh, let's go ahead and save this workbook and let's preview the workbook as an end user would see and you see that the end user no longer sees the top workbook filter bar and all they have uh, for from an interaction from a filter interaction perspective is the parameter that we created which is now bound to the city filter which is not uh, visible for our consumer users binding a parameter to a city filter has allowed the author to constrain the city values that the end users can now focus on. Thanks for watching this video.